Good afternoon. This is a multimedia weather briefing produced by the National Weather Service in Duluth, Minnesota, issued on August 22, 2015 in the late morning hours. This briefing will cover the hazardous weather conditions expected today, focusing on the threat for severe thunderstorms late today into tonight. The threat for severe thunderstorms will exist across the entire Northland, with the threat greatest in central Minnesota. The threat greatest is highlighted by the orange color um, and has recently been expanded to include much of central Minnesota. This includes Cass, Crow Wing, Itasca, Kuchiching, Aiken, and Pine Counties. This includes all of the Brainerd Lakes region as well as all of Mille Lacs Lake. All of northeast Minnesota and northwest Wisconsin has the possibility to see at least scattered to severe, scattered severe thunderstorms highlighted by the one and two colors of green and yellow on the map. Remember that all thunderstorms produce dangerous cloud to ground lightning and will be capable of causing flooding. As far as the th severe weather threats go, large hail, the large hail threat is expected to be medium with the risk for quarter sized hail mainly in, this, in central Minnesota as the storms initially develop. The threat for damaging wind gusts exists everywhere across the region and we expect storms capable of producing gusts up to 80 miles an hour which can cause significant damage. The tornado threat today is fairly low, um, and it's going to be mainly confined to central Minnesota, especially where the first storms fire. But again, this threat is, but this threat will be much lower as storms move east in the early evening. The flash flooding, flooding threat is medium, but covers the entire region, and less than two inches of rain will be needed in an hour to cause flash flooding. Please remember that this is a generalized outlook for the entire Northland, and these risks do these risks are different across the region. As far as the event timing goes, mid to late afternoon we're expecting storms to develop in the green area highlighted on the map. Storms will develop along a north-south line producing hail, damaging winds, tornadoes, and flash flooding. All of these threats will be possible. In the late afternoon to early evening, storms will move east, possibly turning into a solid line of storms capable of producing damaging wind gusts and flash flooding. Later tonight, storms will continue to move east into the Minnesota area, Arrowhead, and parts of northwest Wisconsin, such as the Bayfield Peninsula. The threat, the storms will diminish in intensity, but heavy rain will still be a threat. Please remember that these storms may be faster or slower than currently anticipated, and that you should be prepared for thunderstorms everywhere across the Northland today. We need your reports. If you experience hail, storm damage, flash flooding, or see a tornado or funnel cloud, please be sure to let us know. Your reports help us issue accurate warnings. Post your reports on our Facebook page. Send us a tweet at NWS Duluth. You can visit our website and report on the form there under the current hazards menu at the top left. Or you can just give us a phone call. You can also contact your local law enforcement agency and they will relay your report to us. Skywarn spotters, please make sure to use the 800 number on your spotter card. In conclusion, uh, we are expecting strong to severe thunderstorms today across much of the Northland with the threat highest in central to northeast Minnesota. Please be prepared today. Have a way to be notified if warnings are issued and have a plan to take shelter when storms strike. When thunder roars, head indoors. Remember that any thunderstorm can produce deadly cloud to ground lightning. And another final reminder that we really appreciate your reports. If you do see hail, wind damage, flash flooding, please make sure to let us know. We really appreciate it. This was a multimedia weather this is a multimedia weather briefing produced on Saturday, August 22nd in the late morning. Please be sure to check our website and social media for the latest information and have a safe afternoon and evening.